So I could have a little bit of a day off. Uh, I want to have a day off. I need that. I need it badly. I just get got out of a, of a meeting with our interior designer. And reality bites, we have a lot of expenses coming up. I'll tell you all about it in another vlog. But for now, I'm going to pause. And papaganda muna si ate nyo. Posh Nails is here to give me much needed pampering because my nails are bakulaw-ish na.
Hey everyone! July na nga. Nasa second half na tayo ng 2021. And I know that everyone feels um, two things. One is that, wow, ang bilis. So fast. And then also at the same time, it's so slow. Because, I mean, we are still in a pandemic and things are not quite back to completely fully normal old normal yet you know because we are limited in the things that we can do na feeling natin minsan na parang ang tagal ang bagal ng oras na wala na tayo parang na-restrict yung mga pwede natin gawin in this season i know that it could feel slow for some of us but also at the same time fast because Life naman hasn't completely stopped. Minsan, mas parang naging busy ka pa nung pandemic kasi parang, I don't know, maybe they thought na your working hours are now extended since you're working from home. So, you know, we all have different scenarios in this season, but it remains the same na dahil nasa gitna na tayo ng taon, thought na it would be a very good time for us to take a step back and account for what how the year has been. That's something that I advocate for. Sana meron tayong panahon lagi for reflecting. May panahon tayo to take a step back and just account for things that um, we've stored in our hearts and our heads. A very big part of self-care and um, yung overall health lang natin when it comes to the heart and the mind uh, would require rest. I'm not sure about how you are, but I am a person who's who has a very hard time resting. The reason being, I started working when I was 12. Medyo, uh, parang my life has been defined by work, work, work. And work is good. That's from God. But also, there is a divine rhythm of work and rest. Alam naman natin yan, sugar is not bad in small amounts, but when it's too much, then it becomes a cause for like health problems, right? So, and it is the same with work and rest. When we have too much of each and a, too little of the other, um, doon na tayo nagkakaroon ng mga problema sa buhay na, natin. And as I was thinking about rest in this season, uh, so many things have happened to me to, to teach me about it. And also for me to be able to share with you some of the things that I feel like, like are so important to know about rest. The first thing being the regularity of rest. I feel like for us to really be well uh, in a, or be more stable um, in the long run and not really reach a point of na burn out ka na bago ka pa nakapag rest, dapat meron siyang regularity na nagagawa mo to in your daily life at least. We need to find pockets of rest in our daily lives. That's kind of what I showed you earlier in the earlier part of this vlog na may mga paraan tayong magagawa na hindi naman kailangan umalis ng town bago mo magawa, pa, bago ka makapagpahinga that, you know, serves to like rejuvenate you or refresh you in, uh, in a certain way. Find what works for you, but it has to be a regular kind of rest. I was talking to Pastor Ferdy Kabiling like a few years ago and I was asking him about, so he's one of the pastors in our church and he's the running pastor because he runs. And um, so he did this like nationwide run for our real life scholars. So lahat kami involved or like na, na chini-cheer namin siya. Tapos tinanong ko siya one time, sabi ko, uh, so, Pastor Ferdy, ano ho ba ang pinakamahirap na ginawa ninyo dun sa nationwide uh, run na you, you took on for our scholars? And then he said, alam nyo, yung pinakamahirap is to stop myself from running. And we were like, talaga? Kasi parang di ba nakakapagod yun? Hindi-discipline daw niya yung sarili niya na hindi ka natatakbo, hihiga ka na, you're gonna let yourself relax so you can run again tomorrow. And the reason being, na sabi niya, oo, pwede ko ngang makover more yung itatakbo ko sa nationwide run na yun. Pero, to, to, ano naman yung kapalit, di ba? Yung kapalit naman is hindi na siya makakatabo, takbo sa latter part ng race that he took on for these scholars. Kasi, pagod na siya, naubos niya na lahat dun sa simula pa lang 
nung kubaga ng marathon. But he's saying that this is a long run and I can't let myself run out right in the very beginning of my race. What is the regularity of our rest? Gaano ba natin ka Ga gaano tayo ka ka consistent sa pagpapahinga na hindi tayo tuloy-tuloy-tuloy trabaho lang tapos kung kailan lang tayo mapapagod doon lang natin uh, papansinin yung pangangailangan natin na magpahinga recovery is such a big part of just our design that we are not made to go on forever without stopping without resting we need to recover the second thing I want to talk about when it comes to rest is the quality of rest. Ito ba yung parang itinutulog mo lang or sa araw din ng pahinga mo? Let's say you you um you take your Sabbath or you're off like once a week. Sa araw ba na yun, nagtatrabaho pa rin yung mind mo, yung heart mo. Parang feeling ko 24-7, nag-iisip ako, anxious ako, marami akong kailangan tapusin, parang may humahabal sa akin. So kahit sa off mo, you're actually not resting. What is the quality of your rest? What do you do on your rest day? And I I mentioned earlier in this vlog yung term na avocation. Parang may ginagawa ba kayong bagay kung saan nag enjoy kayo truly sa araw ng rest mo. So if I were kind of like to summarize what um, Joseph Piper is saying, according to Tim Keller, it is that when we rest, it's not really just taking on a day where work is absent or you're just preventing yourself from working like your official work. Minsa talaga may attitude yung heart natin na kahit na wala na tayo sa trabaho, nagtatrabaho pa rin yung utak at mga puso natin. Work on something, but work on it for the joy of it, not for for the work of it, not, not to feel like you've accomplished something or that may na, na check as a checklist mo, but just really that you enjoyed it. So something like that for me would be baking, uh, something like that would for me would be jump roping also. Wag lang sumobra. What is a, a, a rest thing that you can do na hindi talaga yung nakahiga ka lang or yung wala ka lang ginagawa kung hindi yung may ginagawa ka but your heart and your mind is at rest and it actually fuels you to be inspired again. Minsan kahit na nagpahinga ka na, hindi ka naman talaga na-refresh kasi Wala ka namang tiningnan, wala kang ginawa dun sa rest day mo that actually refreshed you. And more often than not, I think for me that would be some sort of activity that is not related to my work or some book that is not related to things that uh, I need to be learning about. So it's not anything about motherhood, it's not anything about homeschooling or uh, creating it's just really something that maybe like a piece of fiction that entertains me and um just uh uh satisfies my soul so i don't know what re that really looks like for you like one of the things that i did on the vlog is like just be with my kids and not be like a mom to them <laughs> yung alam mo yung parang mga araw na kapatid mo lang sila sabi nga ng nanay ko minsan hindi ko alam kung magnanay kayo o magkapatid kayo ng anak mo we need to do things that make us feel like just very childlike and I think that when we do those things, when we find um, activities like that, that we do just for the pleasure of it, it really makes it a quality kind of rest. Now, the third thing I want to talk about when it comes to rest is the meaning of rest. Does it just mean that you know you could take a step back? And I feel like as me, a Christian, a believer, uh, that we have such an amazing perspective of rest. And we call it uh, Sabbath, actually. One of those commands of God that is like, uh, kailangan mo talagang sundin. Kailangan may make it holy. You, you make your Sabbath um, really set apart. I want to read from that book I mentioned earlier again, Yung Every Good Endeavor by Tim Keller. He says here in one of the chapters that Deuteronomy 5 goes on to tie the observance of Sabbath to God's redemption. Verse 15 says, Remember that you were slaves in Egypt and that the Lord your God brought you out of there with a mighty hand and an outstretched arm. Therefore, the Lord your God has commanded you to observe the Sabbath day because God portrays the Sabbath day as 
a reenactment of emancipation from slavery. It reminds us how he delivered his people from a condition in which they were not human beings, but simply units of capacity in Pharaoh's brick production system. Whew, I'm not sure if you guys got that. God wants to remind us that this is why you can rest because I have freed you from slavery. And in a way, when I was reading this, na isip ko nga na, oo nga no, ang mga taong marunong magpahinga ay tunay na malalayang tao. Nothing and no one is driving them to the ground to actually keep on working. But because God is a God who just frees us from anything that enslaves us, and we're not, we're not the Israelites, so we are not enslaved by Egypt. He doesn't free us from that. But there are many things that enslave us. Work mentality, our insecurities that fuel us to uh, to be workaholic. I was like that. Kaya ako yun nasasabi kasi ganun po ako. Talagang mahilig ako magtrabaho dati kasi feeling ko ito yung identity ko. God has provided a way to tell me and you also na you are not your work. It is not just who you are like your that's not the sum of all of who you are and this is why god wants to free us from the thinking that um if we don't work we are no bodies anymore so this is why he wants us to rest because he doesn't want us to be enslaved by any thinking na nagsasabing kailangan mong mag-perform o gumalaw o magtrabaho para magka-worth ka. I mean, definitely work helps us. But I think that what God really wants to free us from is that only work can make us feel good and valuable. Because if that's the case, then we are slaves to our work. So remember that when you can rest, you actually are a free man. Grabe ang profound, no? Pag inisip nyo na yun pala yun, na it's our freedom from slavery. That's the meaning of rest. That you are practicing that. You are commemorating that. Every time you rest na parang, Lord, ikaw lang ang boss ko. And because ikaw ang boss ko, I know that you're not going to be a harsh boss and you're not gonna drive me to the ground. Na ang pinakalesson nun para sa atin ay... Uh, may freedom tayo na magpahinga kasi alam natin na hindi tayo ang may hawak sa buhay natin at sa buong mundo. And I know that's such a big step to take for some of us. That was my step before and it was so hard for me because I come from the whole mindset na pag hindi ako nagtrabaho, magugutom ang pamilya ko. Naniniwala ako, Lord, na hindi mo kami pababayaan kahit na mag-choose akong magpahinga regularly on a Sunday. And ever since then, ever since I made that choice, you know, I can honestly say that God has never let us down. So I pray the same for you guys. Like those are the three things I wanted to remind you about when it comes to rest. First is, uh, no, ayun. <laughs> First is the regularity of rest. Second is the quality of rest. And third is the meaning of rest. And I pray na pagkatapos nito ay ma ma-apply din ninyo to sa buhay niyo at makatulong naman ito sa mga buhay ninyo. That's it, guys. Uh, thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about in the comment section below. And um, I'll see you next week with another new vlog from our channel. Uh, goodbye! <laughs>